Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Cards I kind of like taking. Fire and ice, compulsive research, dark ritual maybe? I probably should read. Somebody posted the archetypes of the cube earlier today, but all I all I saw from among them was like red blue spells. <laughs> okay, let's click on the article. All right, let's just quickly. White blue blink, blue black ninjas, black red goblins, red green landfall, green white tokens, white black reanimator, blue red spell slinger, black green graveyard, red white blitz aggro, green blue flash. I don't think you can go wrong with like a compulsive or a fire and ice first pick. Second pick infantry, go for the spells. Even isn't Savin's reclamation insane? What's the combo with Savin's reclamation? It's some combo card. I don't remember what it is, but uh okay. Let's see. Howdy gamers. So it's like Carmen was the one that uh, maybe not created this, but tweaked it. No. Uh, how much time? Okay. Simply put, Magic 30 Cube is a celebration of Magic's history, a love letter to what the game has been about all the way. They're different. Than the cube is comprised of at least one card from every major release of new cards we've ever seen, including unique releases like Global Deck Series, blah, 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 blah. Despite pulling from all of the history, the archetypes are distinct, and I'm hoping that you feel good. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to take another blue card. Maybe we wield the, uh, like, whatever it's called. What does Quandrix command do again? It's like, fine. Knight's Whispers here. But it's a Ponder! We could be going blue-white blink. For sure. When in doubt, I like just taking blue cards. Oh, there's a blinky blink. A oh, we could do ninjas too. This is a good ninja start, probably. Blue, black, ninjas, huh? I bet you ninjas is super annoying to play against because ninjas are always annoying to play against. I don't know. I don't mind just taking a silent departure here. It looks like the majority of the archetypes are creature-based anyways, so... Something like silent departure doesn't seem bad. I'm in. Ooh, Battle Screech is insane. That's probably best for what archetype? The tokens? The green-white tokens archetype? Yeah. Omri! Thanks for the 36 months. What is Magic 30 Cube? You can read. I think it's the cube command that uh, Kuya set up, right? All right, let's not joke ourselves. I'm I'm the blue red spells player. Earthcraft? How many people are in the league right now? I guess it doesn't say. Ooh, magma jet. Yeah, I love that one. Satchel's a, just a ton of value too. People didn't like Satchel back in M12 limited, but it's just got value written all over it. Oh, we could be blue-green flash, too. Ambusher is way too good. Isn't blue-green flash one of the archetypes listed? Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take the ambusher. Which sucks because we can't wheel like the sailor. But ambusher is nuts. I don't know. How many counters are in this format? I don't think we want Sword of the Animist. I mean, the best card's probably like Absinthe. Hammer of Perforos. Let's just take the Terramorphic. Yeah, the Hermit's probably meant to be in what? The green black graveyard matters. Yeah. XVC. Hey, thank you for the 18 months. Idle and chill. Thank you for the two months, subby. This is like in Diablo 2 Remastered when you hit the G button to go back to the retro frame. This is Arena on retro frame. 
All right, blue green flash. Still in for it. These are graveyard matters cards. I guess we'll take the vandal for sideboard. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, if I open a GG red card, we can still take it. Oh, Vandal to work. Uh, wolf for Ambusher. Man of War. Oh, Prophet of Krufix. I'm going to try to wheel that, and I think I just take the Planeswalker. Wait, isn't this card nuts? Yeah, it's like the constructed card. Yeah, if, if we see Squirrel, uh, Squirrel Nest, we snap take it to try to go for the combo with Earthcraft. He'd say take the band card, the Prophet. It's a 5 mana 2-3. I mean, what, could, what good could it be? Yeah, alright, I'll fine. If I'm blue-green flash, why not take the namesake card? Given that we wheeled the Quandrix and all of, and we got like all of these cards late, though, I wouldn't be surprised if this had wheeled. You know what's not gonna come back, Garrick. Bankbuster's probably okay in Flash. I don't know if we want to take Temporal Mastery. Eh, Balagad's Balagad's gonna wheel. I'll take it. It's a time walk of sorts. Docent of Perfection. It's a fun one. Whispers of the Mute. Oh, that's right. Cloud Thresher has Flash. <laughs> Cast your Cloud Thresher off of six vivid lands. None of them green. Do I want Nissa? Not really. We need blue green lands. Where are all the duels? I don't want to take Ral. Uh, is it a commander card? Excuse me. Whew. I'm gonna just take Nissa though. We'll wheel all those other cards. Hello. Not passing Prime. Passing Growth spir uh, Spiral and Rex Sage here. Boop. Ewit? Oh man, Library? Flash really wants counter spells too. Library's too good though, right? I think library's a little bit too good. Hey, fixing! Take it. Mm, I don't know if it's modern cube. It's more like legacy cube-ish, kind of. I don't like draining Welk, but I guess it probably makes sense in this deck. I don't think we need Chromatic Lantern. All right, we'll take the Welk. We're flashing after all. Magma Opus! You can't just pass me that and expect me to not take it. Rude. How terribly rude of you. Whispers of the Muse is so expensive to flash back, though. Or, sorry, uh, buyback, not flashback. But yes, that would be living the dream. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually take Renegade Map here for a little... Actually, uh, Reclaimer's okay, too. Nah, I'd rather take map. We haven't seen many counter spells though. Like I passed that power sink and haven't really seen much, right? Other than that. What's up, Bradley Turner? So the sixty-four. Rev the fish. Thanks for the thirty-three. I'll take Cloud Thresher for sideboard, I guess, but 
I don't think my deck is good right now. Nice. It's a good wheel. I think it's not bad here, right? Opus value. But I ain't passing Spiral. This is the fight or the punch. Sideboard. Cute little frog. Fencer! Fencer, Foth, Heath would be good, even though we don't have anything to search with it. Or for it. With it. Beast Within, maybe. I don't think Foth wheels. But I'd rather take Fencer here. Ooh, Master... Hey, there's a snake! This is another card that probably wheels. But I also don't want to pass it. Master's probably better, but just take it and don't look back. We're not looking back. What's done is done. Snick, snick, snick. Uh, underground C? How good is grapple with the past here? I guess we can return some value cards. I don't know if we're playing this, but... I suppose... Well, I can grab lands. Eh, it's not bad. It's fine. It also digs through, like, a Sylvan library. Right? Maybe that's not unplayable. We don't really need fixing, though. I mean... We are, we're going to run a lot of basics, but... I don't think we need that much fixing. Hey! Damn. 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 So it feels like... Oh no, it's green that's been opened. Never mind. I was going to say, say, it feels like blue's been opened. We might be able to wheel one of those, but I just have to take the pool here. It's just way too good. Storm Tamer is okay. I might not main deck that, though. Foothills now grabs uh, Breeding Pool. So does Verdant. Oh, wait, but Foothills for Opus. Hey, that's nice. That's good. Cord is, like, slightly tempting, but we don't really have the cheap creatures to uh, convoke with it. What does this one do again? The Flicker card. I mean, this is... <laughs> Literally like the namesake card for Flash, that and Ambusher and Snake, but Sulphur Falls pretty good. How many playables am I at? I still need like two more, so I guess this is fine. Tim? Alright, other fetch good. Sorry, Beast Within. I've got enough playables. Yeah, where's my squirrel nest? Some jerk took it. Uh, is this that good? I have no idea. But we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna hope to win. Beers with the 58 months. Wow, we did wheel the master. That's kind of nuts. I'm probably going to end up cutting the Welk. I don't know if I want a six mana bad counter. Yep, that was my thought as well. Ooh, Oracle's good. Is it good in this deck, though? Probably not. How many instants are we at? Or actually, Cutthroat doesn't care about instants; just cares about instant or spells cast on the other turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then this adds more, kind of. Okay. Cord might be worth running. We need to make one cut. Oh, vines is probably worth running too. Dang it. I like uh, 
vines more than Sto Siren Storm Tamer, I think. I'm probably supposed to just cut this Temporal Mastery, right? But also, it's a time walk, so... No, map's not super necessary. We picked up two fetches after getting the map, so... It's fixing for our opus, but we have a lot of other ways to shuffle for the uh, Sylvan Library now, so I don't think it's as necessary. What's up, unsocial cost? Thanks for the 19 months. Sure. I'll cut the grapple and we'll run the temporal just for the YOLOs. I'm okay with that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, other way around, I guess. Oh, I guess we have a lot of double. Well, we have the same amount, don't we? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. But temporal mastery doesn't necessarily need to be. Hmm. I guess I'd rather have double blue sooner. Yeah, I mean, we do have one triple green, but we're not casting that till later. That's fine. All right, let's give this baby a shot. Womp, womp, womp. Mulligan. Yeah. All right, I'm going to lose the briar and hope we draw some... <laughs> Fast manas. Duress me. Do it. But nothing else. Actually, no, don't duress me. Don't look at my hand. Oh! Wait. Uh. But turn one gate to the afterlife's not really that bad. Good draw. So this cannot flip unless I have a card in the graveyard for it to flip. Six or more. I think I'm okay to trade here. They do get to loot, but whatever. No, because snake is blue, blue, green one. So I might be able to prime time next turn. But I think I like doing this. <laughs> Stone Rain! Um, yeah, I'll slam it out. I was thinking about venturing a land on their upkeep too, but... Bone Shards Discarding Massacre Worm. One, two, that's three creatures in their graveyard. All right, what is Cord Grab? Mm, do, 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 ambusher. If it could grab our uh, snake, that'd be worth keeping, but I don't think we want it. And then we don't need to play the fetch, because we're going to play out prime time this turn. We can hold the fetch for later. Alright, we can just go grab a bunch of fetches anyways. Oh, I guess if I had grabbed... I mean, that, that, that Terramorphic might have been a mistake. I can't Opus now, but I guess it's probably not going to matter. Let 
Yeah, they're just dead here, right? I count lethals. Bingo, bingo, bongo. All right, that game wasn't particularly close. Do I have a way to exile graveyards? Oh. This could be okay versus the... Gate plus the potential GPG. But I don't know if that's even necessary. I think we're probably fine to just run it back. If they cast the gate, yeah, we're happy. But if they have the gift, I'm not as happy. I don't know. Our sideboard's not very good, so. Whoa. What? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Uh-oh. That's pretty annoying. Hmm. Discards a card. Might not be right to discard that. Uh oh. I have a pretty big problem if they can reanimate Angel. Another discard effect. Tradesies? I want to eat, but I think Tradesies has just got to be a lot safer, eh? Oh my god, their Jace can attack for one. Why not fetch for snake, huh? People be crazy. How is the cube? This is literally my first match with it. Oh! <laughs> It would have been insane if we had drawn it for turn, but <laughs> extremely troll draw right there. All right, Jace is flipped. Oh, he discarded the gift. Yeah, that makes sense. We're not going to ambush mid combat to try to eat. Need to hold up a snick. I'm not going to get breeding pool. I don't want to play too much life here. I think I go face. Obviously, playing the Sakura Tribe Elder there and holding up Mystic Snake is a uh, valid game plan to enable mastery next turn, but just making a 3-3 seems pretty good, too. Any two creatures are lethal, so I like this play. Uh, Wait, I cannot counter Unearth, right? I don't think I can counter Unearth. I think I have to counter this. Bone shards, otherwise I die. 
That would have been a lot of that. Five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, that would have been lethal with their uh, signal pest battle cry. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. They can put me to. Oh, I am dead. I can't block. Oh! I'm crazy. I forgot the changeling. Wow! What? Oh, it didn't matter if I countered or not. Not gonna lie, did not expect to lose like that. Good beats. Was there a different play I could have made? I don't actually think there was. Just that one turn where I traded for Rankle instead of, uh... Instead of, uh... Eating the signal pest. Yeah, I could bring this in. I don't think it's worth it, though. We should be able to just pretty easily crush them, I would feel like. <sighs> this seems like a mulligan. Yeah, I mean, if they have a dark ritual draw, we could definitely die. We need to just draw some lands here. Oh, we need to draw lands pretty bad. No! And just like that. Ah, oh, damn it. This is still really bad, though, because I don't want to use my treasure. But I'm kind of have to. I don't know why I didn't attack for four there. Whoopsies. Uh, they had bone shards. Oh man, I didn't. I just forgot. Master uh, of the Wild Hunt with Night Pack Ambushers, pretty juicy as well. Oh, terror. Okay. All right. I think I'm just gonna flash this in and start beating down. Oh, I should not have attacked with Wolf either. For some reason I was thinking it was going to get pumped, but... Well, they have a lot of cards in their hand, but I have a better board presence. They should be at like 11 right now, though, although maybe they would have chumped with the Signal Pest on the previous turn. They should have been at a lower amount light. Oh. This is where top decking the Miracle would be nuts. But I've made a lot of small mistakes this game already. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's pretty good too. Here comes some fat demon. Oh, wait, what? This works with profit. Oh, I should have fought the spell seeker. That was another mistake. Damn, I've made so many small mistakes this game. What am I doing, chat? Going for it. All right. Probably didn't deserve to win that game given my uh, mistakes, but our draw was just better than theirs, so. <laughs> we'll pretend that just didn't happen.
Okay, on the draw here, hand is fine. We can go grab a forest with Terramorphic, play Island, play Steve. I guess we can grab an Island now with Terramorphic. Island, Terramorphic, Forest, Steve. Eh, we run Gambas on draft every once in a while. All right, I'm actually going to go like this and play out the land before. Because if, if they tapped out, I wouldn't do this. But since they didn't tap out, I don't want to play Nissa with three lands, tutor for the fourth, and then they kill the Nissa before I find the land and can hold up vines, you know? Oof, nice draw. Okay, so we're just going to chill. I don't want to play the proof it. Uh, proof it. I don't, I don't want to play the profit out anyways when I can't hold up vines. Like this looks like a pretty one game. Pretty good. Wow, we can go cord for snake. GG. Bloop. I get mana on my turn, and I get mana on your turn. Proof it. I'm happy to do nothing if you want to do nothing. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like this favors me. I'm not going to attack first here with Nyssa. Because I'm going to attack with uh, everything this turn. And I want to be able to hold up Cord for Snake. Uh, it feels like... It feels like drawing cards is actually just better. How many wrath effects are this are in this format in red black? Contempt the profit. Um I don't actually think I care about that dying anymore. You got it. I'm gonna make a wolf. Say go. Now the name of the game is just sit back on ambusher. What's up, Kyle Beckman? Thank you for the 32 months. <laughs> Alright, well that works. We might just want like Seagate Oracle versus this deck. Or like red black aggro or something. Draw a card with a 1-3 booty. Thing in the ice is how many instants? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Eh, probably not good enough for that. Could actually splash the Magma Jet, too. We have one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, no, Heath doesn't grab red. One, two, three, four. And then Prime Time. Also, Cord Force. Eh, I probably don't need Jet. Oh, goody. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm not going to go down to five. Hey, it's a good draw. Good luck dealing with that, red black. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep, ba -ba -ba -ba.
I'll pay four. I don't think I'm gonna pay eight. No rush. Alright. I don't mind them not doing anything. I could cycle Magma Opus there and go for profit next turn, but I feel like that's pretty unlikely to survive. They have to have something here, right? Sweet end. All right. Cutthroat down. What's the concept for the cube? Uh, exclamation point cube, and then you can read all about it. Dragon. That is a pretty hard hitter. But I think we can race that, huh? Yeesh. All right, somebody's offering me an ohm. For my 38 GC elemental charm. Arc lightning. Oh, can't do anything about that. Ha! Tricked you! Take me home tonight. They didn't uh, murderous rider, so they have something here. Thank God! Yes! Shuffle, baby. I think I'm shuffling. Am I dead? No, this doesn't kill me. So why didn't they play Murderous? Maybe they, they might have just forgotten about it. Pretty easy to forget about adventure creatures. I do that all the time. Uh, okay. God, I want to keep all of this. Should be pretty safe here, though. We only have two cards left in their hand, unless they have, like, one that we can counter anything crazy. That's fine. That seems like that's worth countering. All right, so we have Nissa on top, but any untapped land underneath the list, uh, Nissa wins. Uh, crap. We might lose this game. It's not super likely, but it's possible here. I'm gonna shuffle and draw a card. Okay. Uh. Well, it's not super likely that they can kill the Obstructionist and Monstrosity. It would need to be a one-mana kill spell. Obviously not impossible, though. I think the most likely way for us to die would be for them to have, like, a weird burn spell on Stuffy Doll. Ah, uh, actually, I don't know how many one-mana burn spells are in this format. There might be a ton. They haven't immediately done it, though, so... Alright. Trading on EU... Well, while this person's thinking... Oh, no, here we go. Is 
This is clearly not the way to do it. But I don't... If they have a way to gain life, they got me. I should be tapping these, but I'm... <laughs> wasn't paying attention. <laughs> this is actually a really bad play. If I tap their creatures, I can just attack and win too. I was distracted by my ohm trade. Please just die. Please. Please don't punish me for making bad taps. Please. Yay! All right, we're 2-0. Ooh, we could still be the first trophy. All right, give me a minute. I need to go trade for ohm. Prickly Boggart. We are playing against the Gabos. We're playing against Ekin. Oh my gosh, nobody beats Ekin. What the hell? We're dead. We're already dead. We're on the draw versus Gabos. I might as well just concede. Got him! Fear deleted! Now who's the champion of the world? It's me! Two two twos are better than two one ones. Confirmed. No! Munitions expert! Ooh. Rabble de dabble. Oh ho. Ho oh, ho. Oh, oh. I'm debating if I want to use Quandrix command here. Like, bounce this, eat that. I just don't mind trading. I guess we'll just trade here. And then play out Wolf. I don't want to block with the Wolf and then lose it to a uh, Shock. No, it has a tap ability. Right? We should be in a pretty good spot, though. Sheesh. Whoa, oh, 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 take me home tonight. Uh, I didn't play Profit out because I wouldn't get a 3 3 wolf. Okay! One down. We are defeating the master at least once. Void Slime might be a little bit too slow here. Mastery is definitely a little bit sketch. I think we want to bring in the punch. A 1-3 seems okay. Oh, an 4 doesn't seem bad, honestly. Probably should take out Magma Opus and just bring in the 0-4 blocker. Have I haven't even cast Compulsive Research this draft? Wasn't this my pick one pack one and I haven't even drawn it, I think? <laughs> well, it was a decent draw. He was missing red at the beginning. Like, if he had gone turn one lackey, I just lose.
If we can get a turn three ambusher here, that would be pretty gross. Okay. Stupid sexy goblins. Ah, the damage. Never casting compulsive this game. <laughs> Hopefully he goes for a lord this turn that I can snick. Pretty sad, he just gets it back immediately, right? Oh! Hold, baby! Juicy draw. And if he goes for like a damage kill, we have the Briar Thorn to Giant Growth the Prophet. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Bush, 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 bush. Slightly scary attack here, but he didn't attack with the uh, Putrid Goblin last turn. This doesn't block. Okay. All right, well, he didn't have anything. Boots and cats, boots and cats, boots and cats, boots and cats. Looking good, feeling good, chat. What's up, experience points? Thanks for the 37. Uh-oh. Grenzo is pretty fat. Sheesh. This only gives my creatures flash. He would need to double block my uh, Prophet with Grenzo and Putrid Goblin for some reason. And even still, we would have two good blockers, so I'm okay with this. Be nice, be nice. Boots and cats. GG Nissa. Or Faces Place. Ring Wingers, thanks for the 17 months. Oh! Wait. Uh, that's not even that bad. I get back Elf. Patriarch's bidding was really sweet back in regular constructed, too. Okay, what do we do here? Let's start off by land, flip, Nissa, draw a card. Alright. This can't block, so if I bounce the Putrid, smack out... I don't win quite yet. Should be pretty safe with the uh, Venser open, though. Did I cut that Opus? I didn't think I did. No, I left Opus in. I cut the, uh, the Slime. The Mastery. Yeah, we're good. Do, 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 do. I guess I should have Seagated main... No, I wouldn't have any mana anyways.
I think I'm just going to chump here, take two, go to seven. Okay. That should do her. That should do her! No, I wanted to hold up the obstructionist for Grenzo activation. Okay. Priority's yours. Mother. With the kicker, even. Kaboom, baby! Let's get it! Boop, 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 boop! Screenshot! Print screen! Control C! Control V! I'm the best in the world again! What's up, Stads? Thanks for the 30 months, Subby! Alright. Well, as noted, or as expected, Prophet of Crufix. 